Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the join string method. Now the join string method gives us the ability to combine some strings together with a certain separator. So to better understand this, let's uh, take a look at what I'm talking about. Let's create a string with a space. Alright, so that's our string with a space. We're going to put a period because it's a string method. We're going to type join spell join first time it was right and parentheses now the join string method takes one argument so if we want to combine multiple string objects we would have to put it into like a list or a tuple so let's put ours into a list and we're going to create a string method a string object I'm sorry um, this we're going to do that this is our first list item and then We'll do is another list item, uh, a another list item, and then string, like we've always done. We're going to close out our list, and lists are indicated by these square brackets here. Anything in, in between them is in the list, and this would be the first string object, second string object, third string object, fourth string object in a list. And then we'll close out our um, join string method. Now when we hit return, what's going to happen is, as you can see, our string objects here are not separated by uh, spaces, okay? And on the front end here is our separator, which is a string object itself. So when we hit enter, the join method is going to go and put the first string object in and then put this as the separator, which is a space and then put the second string object and then come back and put this in as a space and then third string object and so on and this is iterating through our list of objects so every time it iterates through an object it's going to go ahead and put a space in there so it's going to re return and as you can see we get a, a new string object back that contains this space is space a space string okay so that is our String, our new string object. All right. So let's look at another one. This time we'll do, we'll use the same setup, but the only thing that's going to change is we're going to use a tuple. So a tuple is indicated by um, uh, parentheses, and we're going to do uh, this is a string. And parentheses and parentheses now as you can see it's the same thing same setup we got the string objects here all through our tuple here and then we got a separator as a space so we should get returned the same thing hit return and we do this is a string now we can also instead of using a list and a tuple we can actually use a string itself so let's take a look at that we're this time we're going to do um, our separator is going to be space hyphen space and we're going to do dot join so we're calling our string method join again and we're gonna create a string and we're gonna say Mississippi all right now it's the same thing it's gonna iterate through our string itself so every time um, it iterates it's gonna go M space hyphen space I space hyphen space so it's gonna present it through so let's take a look at that Boom, there's Mississippi, we got the space, the hyphen, the space, so and so on all the way through. So it iterates through each one of our characters in our string object. Now, this is all good and everything, but what happens if we say, like I said, we could um, we can only add one string or one argument to our join. So let's say if I wanted to do let's do another space, do join. Because you would think this would work. We go, this is, and we're just going to do it. this is to save some time. Hit return. Up, oh, join takes exactly one argument to given. So we can only do one argument. So how about if we wanted to do multiple arguments? Well, we can s still do that, but it's got to be contained in a list or a tuple as we saw before. So I cl cleared my screen. Let's create um, our sep, our separator here, and we're gonna do a space. 
So we're saving that to a very, our, our string object is now referenced by sep for separator. So that's going to go on the front end of our join. And then we want to create um, a couple strings. So we'll do, we'll do the same thing we're doing. A, this is B equals this is C uh, D string. Alright, just like we did before, but we now assign these objects to a um, variable, or assign variables to the objects, I should say. Alright, so now we want to display all this the way it did. Now we can't do like dot join and then A, B, because that said it took one single argument. So how will we do this? Well, we can create a, um, let's do ob for object, objects. All right, so we want to create a new variable and we're going to do A, oops, it needs to be in a list or tuple. So A, B, C, D, hit return. And then how are we going to call this in our using our join method, we're going to do set.join and then we're going to do object and hit return and there you go, this is a string. See, in my mind this is the best route to go if you're using the join object. Um, keeps it a little bit cleaner, but we can also do it like we did before. All right, But we can also reuse this stuff. So I could say um, we could do set.join and we could say, uh, oops, I gotta create a new list, sorry. Object two equals, and we're gonna do A and D, oops, sorry. Object two equals, forgot to put the D in there. If you're wondering what I'm doing, the fat fingers today. Hit return, and we do set dot join. And an object to hit return this string. All right, so this gives us a better ability. We did look at variables before and how they how objects are referenced by variables. Um, but if you're using the dot join, I, I prefer to use this method. All right, that we create our variables and put them into a list and then call it on our join. But you can use whatever method you prefer. So that is the. Um, join string method in Python. If you got any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Um, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.